Might as well try to boost everything now. I know we gotta save her, but I gotta get a smoke break. <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to the Kaito DLC. We are on the finale of the final chapter and in the last episode we finally discovered who is the mastermind behind all of it and it's Kyoya, the husband. And I already had my suspicions a long time ago because he was acting so weird and the stories that Jin told Kaito about him, it just started to like look off to me. But now we finally made it to the reunion of uh, Crimson Lotus's uh, alumni, and we're gonna see if we can try to break in. But first, we gotta find this guy, so let's continue on with the story. Okay, so now we gotta look for a clue that could help us. Huh? Hey, oh hey, a cardboard box might be able to slither my way in if I hide under that. Is that a Metal Gear reference, RGG? <laughs> Wait, no, who even does that? That's not even gonna fool anyone. Nix that idea. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. I love that they put that this little right Easter egg. Everyone's young here. Mid-twenties, early thirties. Maybe a guy in his forties sticks out like a sore thumb. Nah, screw that. I can still rock it. At least I hope I can. Yes, you can, Kaito. You can. Don't let anyone fool you. What are you looking at, bro? You're supposed to be helping, are you not? <laughs> we can't just walk on in, can we? Oh, are you one of Rhizome's alumni? Yep, sure am. Okay, what year did you graduate? Huh? Uh, like <laughs> ten years ago? And your name? It's Kaito. Kaito, use a fake when at least, damn! Hmm, your name doesn't seem to be on the list. A list? Well, You know, I just remembered. I gotta go take care of something. Kaito is the worst at lying. Oh my goodness, dude. Don't think I can pass myself as one of them. Gotta try a different angle. Better take a closer look around. Oh god. Okay, let's see. Can I, um... A smell? Is this it? It's just a plant. Look, it's okay. If I get some, like, uh, extra SP points, that wouldn't bother me. Huh? Oh no, my prized possession. Did I drop it when I sat down earlier? Oh, and to think I spent all that money on it. Ah, oh well. Party's about to start. Whoever finds it can just keep it. Sounds like that guy dropped something. Maybe by a chair? <laughs> he dropped something. Okay, hang on. Drop some- oh! This right here. This will see what the guy dropped. He said finder's keeper, so hold on to this. Divine water. <laughs> um. Huh? This right you here. You can do that. What's that mascot called again? Kamala? Talks that he wore one of those costumes once. Guess he's here to liven up the party. I could probably walk right in if I had that on. That said, can't imagine I can just get my hands on one. Doubt they'll have got a bunch of spares of light just lying around. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Damn it, I didn't mean to get in here. Sorry, I was looking, I was looking. Is this it? Could knock out this guy and just steal his uniform, can we not? Hmm, a waiter. They can get in and out without raising a stink. Sneaking in and dressing up as a waiter might be a way to go. Problem is, where do I get the uniform? At least, let's see where I can find. Okay, let's see where they go. Ah. This right here. Hey, where's the new guy? Huh? Probably in the smoking area. I saw him heading down there a minute ago. Cool, we can take the new guy's spot. Really? He steps out for a cigarette when the party's about to start. Go get him, will ya? No way. That guy freaks me out, man. He looks like an ex-thug who can't seem to reintegrate into oh, society. Oh, great. <laughs> Besides, I, I don't have the key. Probably to means I have to fight him. You do it. <laughs> Hell no. 
He freaks me out too. I'm not equipped to deal with his type. Mm. Luckily, you have Kaito! <laughs> well, he's a responsible adult. I'm sure he'll come back once the party starts. Yeah, no need to bust our butts just to check on him. So there's a waiter slacking off in the smoking area past here, huh? This might be my chance. Better check it out. Okay, let's find the <sighs> smoking area. Elevators. Uh, probably would smell, right? I imagine. What have we here? Smoking area is through here, but it's locked. There must be a way to open it. <sighs> food too but i can't exactly tell what it is hey cool a sandwich nice this right here oh shit i dropped the key to the back door the smoking area dude if they find out they're gonna be pissed well they haven't found out yet oh man what am i gonna do okay okay i'll help you find it you have any idea where you might have dropped it at least uh the first floor bathroom i think or uh, was it the second floor Actually, it could have been the third. Okay, so it's in one of the bathrooms. Okay, one of the bathrooms, huh? Oh, here's the bathroom. Is this it? Looks like it's closed off for cleaning. Oh, there this it is. This right here. Oh, what's that on the ground? A key. Perfect. This must be the key that the waiter was talking about. Now let's see if we'll get me into the smoking area. Uh, let's see if we can open it now. <laughs> Hell yeah, it opened! Time to meet our slacking waiter friend. Watch him be like a giant dude. I'm actually kind of worried about that because I feel like it's going to be a giant man. Um, so before we go do something, let's see if I can get something else. Like, Let's get this. Let's get this. So I remember we just unlocked. And I guess I could get the enhancer. Might as well now. You know? All right. Let's go in here. Wait a minute, that waiter. What? Man, I am beat. Last thing I want to do is serve people. And it's been nothing but punk kids all day. And they've all got some crap attitudes. Crowd's getting under his skin so bad he doesn't even want to work. Could try to persuade him fork him over his clothes. Hey, you. You got a sec? Huh? Aren't you... Whoa. That you, Tashiro-kun? Oh, it's you! Kaito? Why the hell are you here? <laughs> what the Why the hell are you a waiter? <sighs> it's that... Yagami's fault. Talk? What are you talking about? <laughs> For the past few years, I was a producer doing events for a solid company. Yeah, well, totally bro, that's your it. fault. But thanks to Yagami coming around, the company heard about my ups and fired me. <laughs> well, I don't know all the details, but if you got out, it sounds like you got what you deserved, don't it? Oh my god, I love that this Shut DLC up. is like so taking from back from the, the main games. The moment you ripped my favorite clothes off my body, my luck went straight down the sh. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Oh my god, that. I remember that! Oh, Holy cool. crap, that's so I funny. Borrow those clothes for a bit? <laughs> Again! What the hell? You got some balls asking me that! I need it for reasons. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm not gonna keep it forever. That! Why don't you just strip down yourself? Huh? Why would I do that? Because I want you to feel the same humiliation I did. Dude, don't do it! I already took your clothes it, last okay? time! Whoa, hey! Oh my not god. Gonna... I already said I was sorry, didn't I? Shut it! Do you even know how it feels to get your ass kicked and tossed out into the freezing December cold, butt naked? <laughs> I won't rest until I strip you down to your bare junk! Better be ready! Okay. Fine, have it your way. I knew we were gonna fight, just didn't think it was gonna be this guy. <laughs> I can't believe this guy's making it back. This fucking idiot, so she you're annoying. Could have just 
was taking it, but no, you have to go do this, huh? Me. <laughs> I can't believe it, he's naked again. <laughs> Alright, time to dress up and sneak in. Could've just gave it to Kaito, he didn't need to get a beating too. Alright, how's my uniform guys? Do I look good? <laughs> Oh, that's blue haired asshole. Hate that guy. He's annoying. I think those guys, uh. I think those guys are some of the founders. Where's Mikiko and Kyoya Saramoto? Both are probably staying on the down low. Alright, so I guess I have to look for them? Sorry to bother you, but do you have a moment? Have you seen this woman? Um, uh, who's she? Uh, well, uh, she's a former member of Rizo. Anyone here know her? She's not from our year, is she? Nope, never seen her before. Why don't you ask your co-worker? You've been standing over there the whole time. Maybe he saw her. Alright, no need to be rude, damn. <sighs> Much obliged. Dick? Even if Miki goes here, she's probably doing whatever she can to blend in. Gotta be a tough, uh, gotta be tough to spot her. Hey, you got a sec? I'm trying to find a guest. Who might that be? This person here. Hmm. I might have seen her, but then again. This is a real- It's either yes or no, bro! <laughs> Put some brain power into it, will ya? Well, now that I think back... The woman who looked like her was in that seat there. Okay. And where'd she go after that? I'm not sure. All right. Great, thanks for a lot. Uh, I could try asking that lady over there. Okay. Excuse me, mind if I have a word? I'm looking for someone. Ugh. Uh, ma'am? Hey, can't you see this is a bad time? I'm catching up with an old friend here. Oh my god, I hate people like this. I'm awfully sorry, but it's about a very important guest. Oh. An important guest, you say? As in one of the Rhizome founders? Because if that's the case, I'd love to meet them. Oh, no. They aren't. Ah. Well, then can you go away now? If you please. It's just... Ah, Nishio-san! You're here! So much for catching up with an old friend. I'll just have to have myself a chat with the friends you bailed on. Sorry to bother you, but uh, have you seen this woman? Oh, her? Um, I think she was here earlier. Are you sure? Where is she now? Hang on, maybe I'm not remembering correctly. She didn't talk to anyone and left her seat pretty quickly. Could that have been Mikiko? Maybe she's keep, she keeps switching seats so she doesn't stand out. Got it. Uh, how about a man named Kyoya Sadamoto? Sadamoto-san? <laughs> the living legend. Oh yeah, they call well, him legend, I remember. I always wanted to meet him, but he said he had an emergency and couldn't make it. You can't make it? You're positive? Yes. Apparently he has a meeting he simply can't miss. That's what he keeps saying his on his phone. Always packed every single day. 
But I suppose that's just how it is. Pass me, because he's probably murdering people. If Yoya Sadamoto isn't here, then that means Mikiko can't go through with her plan. I don't think that's the case. They're, they must be both here somewhere. Couldn't spot Mikiko anywhere in the venue, and Sadamoto canceled. Which means Mikiko isn't even here, is she? What do you mean I can't get in? Uh, it's just that Amina Masuda-sama has already checked in. And I keep telling you, I'm Amina Masuda! How could I have already checked myself in? Somebody check in using her name? Wait a sec. Something the matter, ma'am? Well, I literally just got here, but this bonehead of a receptionist says I'm already checked in! So, Masuda-san is already inside the venue. Y you sure there's no mistake? Yes, I even checked the list. This woman, the one who said she was Masuda, is this her? Oh, yes, that's the one. She was gorgeous. I knew it's it. It's kind of rude to say in front of this Where lady. Where did she go? Well, she entered the venue. Oh, but just after that, she came out and made her way to the restrooms. The restrooms, huh? Makes sense. She wouldn't go after her Crimson Lotus out in the open. Maybe she'll pick them up when they're alone in the restroom. Could have spiked their drinks with the... Dai... Dai... Retex? I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> Somebody tell me! Thank you. Uh, uh, wait! What about me? Well, that's your problem. <laughs> anyway. Why did Kaito jump out like that? <laughs> hey! No! Oh! Are you still with me? What happened? Oh, some woman came in out of nowhere and attacked me. And was that woman Mikiko Sadamoto? It, yeah, that's right. But how? Who are you? Where'd she go? She... She was looking for Kyoya-san. Kyoya Sadamoto? But I heard he couldn't make it. No. He was scheduled to appear as a surprise guest. He was in the green room earlier, but he went up to the roof for a smoke. And then Mikiko went up to the roof too? Yeah. Okay, that's not a good sign. Uh, that sounds bad. <laughs> okay, I can head up to the top from here. Ah, oh, damn it! No, it's the blue-haired idiot. Uh, may I help you? I'm very sorry, but there's an urgent issue I must attend to. Don't play dumb with me, Kaito. <laughs> I know a rat when I see one. Why are you here? Well, it took you long enough well, to notice. Guess I gotta force my way through. Not kinda in a hurry. So yeah, his clothes are punches. still on underneath that. <laughs> Makes sense. On, boys. Let's get it. Oh my god, this dude is so Go away, your stupid ass skinny jeans. Come on! Let's clean him up quick! 
Appreciate it, fellas. Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll kill you! Oh my god, shut up! Seriously? I will give Nishino this, he is taking punches from Kaito. out where Miki goes on is upstairs yeah. looks like she chased Sadamoto to the roof we can't afford to get caught by them again let's climb up here oh thank goodness it's letting me heal which I think is a probably a good idea to do that all right let's go Damn, every oh, level shit. we're probably gonna have to fight people. Wait, aren't you? Damn it. We can't let him call for backup. We have to take him out quick. Alright, boys. Yo, the soundtrack is pretty killer in this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> God damn it, Kaito! Somewhere. Find them. Y'all are blind. <laughs> huh? Yes, we're already Jean Cho's most wanted. Damn. How many of these guys are there? Yeah, enough for all of us, I guess. <laughs> Attack me. 
There should be a guest elevator somewhere around here. We can take that all the way to the top. Maybe over here? Ooh, items. Give me all this. Ooh, attack and defense. But I'm probably gonna need it. I know why they're giving me this. Something bad. Bad boss fights happening, which is Kyoya, so. Hey, more items. Sure. I'll take that. Oh, Tonner's already used, huh? Okay, wait, let me see if I can. Might as well. Sorry, guys. Perfect. We can take this guy all the way to the top. There they are! Found them! God damn, they're still coming! Hey, Kaito! You go take care of Mikiko-san! Just leave these guys to us. We got this. Alright. Huh. You better, tough guy. <laughs> we can take this many of them ourselves. They're ex Yakuza, they should be able to! They all are, including Kaito! Uh, isn't this a little more than we can handle? Pipe down. Now let's do this! <laughs> Maybe not Sendai. I don't think he's that good at fighting. <laughs> Igarashi and Senda kill the power? That helps a ton. Not like a security's lining up at all, though. That guy has a fucking gun. Can't let them pick me up from a distance. Gotta watch my ass. Careful now. Oh god, now we gotta sneak around? Great. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this man to turn around, then we'll head over there. Wow, he didn't see Kaito? What a blind idiot. <laughs> Still alive, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I would run, but I feel like he probably would hear the footsteps. Make him like walk up to me first before I throw it. Not enough. That way he can turn around. anything because I'm still in sneaking mode. That sucks. Oh. There he is! Over here! Fuck. Oh, shit. We're done playing hide and seek. Nowhere to run. You're dead! Oh, where's the guy with the gun? That guy. I have to take care of the guy with the gun. Fuck everybody else. Gotcha. Alright, let me use stamina X since we're getting on. Oh, <laughs> 
shit! Hey yo, how many people do you have? What the? F oh god. I'm almost dead too, so I gotta remember to like heal myself. <sighs> Please tell me that's it. That ate up way more time than I would have liked. The stairs to the roof are just over there. Okay, uh, no other items, huh? Crap. Alright. Any item? Ooh, yeah. Give me that. Shin guards. Shin guards. I can't put them on the... I'll keep it like that for now because I don't I don't know what to use it for, honestly. You can save? Oh god, something terrible is about to happen, isn't it? Alright, let me get all the items first. Stamina and X. I don't wanna waste it because like that's a good item. Sake. this one. Sandwich? Perfect. Love me a sandwich. And smoking. Let me boost up Kaito's stuff. Can I smoke here? Might as well try to boost everything now. I know we gotta save her, but I gotta get a smoke break. <laughs> Go. Stay back! Come near and I shoot! Oh shit. Look at the smug bastard just smoking. Come now, Mikiko. You would really shoot your husband? I would. That's the only This guy? He yeah? He traumatized June? And then killed her family? Oh. Hell yeah! Then perhaps let's settle down and talk this through. Talk about what? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to her what is either. To talk about. Well, try putting this all into perspective. Are you sure you want to kill me? Can you kill me? Bitch, oh, she's been on, an, on a tyrant, <laughs> you know. So. But what about our son? What would June think? Would he condone his mother's actions as a killer? Have you even considered the thought? Of course you have. Compassion comes naturally to you, and guilt's enough to freeze you in your tracks. After all, that's what gives this woman her charm. Wouldn't you agree, Kaito-san? Sinister fuck. Unfortunately, nice people don't make money. That's kind of true, Business in opportunities a are all around <laughs> us. Most fail to seize them, let alone comprehend they're there. It's not Why? surprising that he's a businessman, too. They're inefficient at drawing wealth to themselves quickly and competently. Instead, they sate themselves on worldly affairs and superficial relationships. They're worthless. So, you cut down your old pals and burned her family alive. They meant nothing to you. Precisely. You catch on quick. I like your potential. 
Now I'll admit the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice. But the results really spoke for themselves. It was a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. You human bastard! Chuya! You think you'll get away with killing my parents? My sister? You're dying right here! Right now! How curious. You actually seem like you mean it. Why is this guy still well, taunting her? She has the gun prepared. on you! Glad I took the steps to confirm that. How the hell is he so calm when he's staring down the barrel? Yeah, right? No. Ken Mochi, are you serious, dude? Dude! A tad late, Ken Mochi. Uh, my bad, Kyo chan. Settle down. You're gonna do that to your own Move fucking kid? What's wrong Understand? with this guy? <laughs> Can't move, can you? He takes after me, that's for sure. Never know when he'll catch his old man off guard. Seems I was right to discipline him the way I did. Asshole! That's your own son right there! Now then, Mikiko. The real party's about to begin. What? First, let's dispose of any unnecessary baggage. Shoot Kaito, and I will release June. No. <laughs> you know what's funny? I feel like Kaito would take it too. Fuck, this is bad. Shun completely freezes up when this happens. Think, Kaito, there's gotta be a way out of this. Yo, Ken Mochi, you have to help, man. He's guilty. He feels guilty. Like, he's not doing this out of, like, pure pleasure. Because that's that's one thing I, I actually do appreciate in his character. A lot of, like, side villains in, in the RGG games tend to not care if they're doing something bad. Ken Mochi is one of the few that actually does care that he's doing something bad. So I feel like we can get to him. Hang on. Ken Mochi still thinks Mikiko killed those Crimson Lotus guys, doesn't he? I could try telling him the truth and see if that changes hey, his mind. Hey, Kenmochi, you still think Mikiko was the one taking down Crimson Lotus? Of course I do. The hell are you talking to me for? Because there's something you might want to know. Each time Mikiko went to take out your buddies, someone else had gone and done him in first. They were dead by the time she got there. Get out of here! With her memories back, and a plan to kill Crimson Lotus, Mikiko became a huge threat. Enough to scare the killer into action. And by killing his old pals, he could erase his dark ties and pin the crime on Mikiko in one fell swoop. The fuck are you yapping on about? Still don't get it? It's the guy standing next to you. Your legendary guru is a traitor. What? Hmm. <sighs> I hear Sadamoto's been making the rounds on the media lately. Earned himself a reputation as a CEO in demand. It's why he can't afford having his connections to you guys surface. And on top of that, he needed to act fast to keep Mikiko from ever reaching out to you guys. What are you saying? Mikiko knows some dark shit about her husband's past. And Sadamoto didn't want you spotting any discrepancies between her truth and what he fed you. Had that happened, you probably would have gone after him yourself, Kenmoji. Yeah, he would have. Okay, Sadamoto has dark ties to Crimson Lotus. Sadamoto killed the Crimson Lotus founders. The Natsuni arson was no accident. Ooh, ooh, I, uh, this one. This one, because this that's what's eating him up on the inside and why he's drinking so much. You said it was an accident that Maho-chan and her parents were burned alive. Nobody was supposed to be home, right? Well, yeah. I was told they were on vacation. That was a lie, sir. The place was supposed to be empty. Let me guess. Sadamoto gave the order. Told you nobody get hurt. So what? What are you getting at? 
your guru made it loud and clear before you showed up. He said that Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice, but the results really spoke for themselves. He knew Maho-chan and her parents were home that night, and he still had you burn the place down. No! Since you guys were just after the property, you had no reason to burn anyone to death. It's interesting that Kyoyo's not even trying to, like, deny it. So I, I figured he would at least will try a little bit to keep Ken Mochi on his side, but it's interesting he doesn't care. Because I guess he was going to kill him anyway, right? For his company to survive, he needed them to die. That's why he lied to you. After fixing up his own alibi. Bullshit. He's lying, right, Joe chan Huh. You've hit quite the sore spot. Sadamoto, you only had me find Mikiko, so you could get to her before Crimson Lotus. But when I found her, you planned to lock her up and wipe out Crimson Lotus yourself. Then you'd wait for the perfect time to finish her off and make it look like suicide. Sound about right? <laughs> I knew I liked your potential. Shojun! What's this guy saying? It's all lies, right? The night of the arson was Mahu Chan's birthday. <sighs> the Natsumes and Mahu Chan were big on wine, so I sent them a vintage Bordeaux to celebrate. After all, What's a million yen between friends? Chuchan! Meanwhile, I was enjoying dinner at a restaurant with my lovely wife. From there, I gave Maho-chan a call and wished her a happy birthday. She told me the wine was delicious. Even the Natsumes, who were notorious wine snobs, enjoyed it. I was worried my secret ingredient, sleeping pills, Oh, had that's how he the got taste. them to stay in the house. But to my relief, it all turned out fine in the end. What? If it's any consolation, the Natsumes were dead asleep. I'm sure they went out painlessly. Joya, How could you? Hey! Jochan! This is just one of your jokes, Yo, right? Yo, Mochi, come on! Come on over to our <sighs> side! Should be any moment now. Delayed, I suppose. What? What's this bastard waiting for? What do you mean, delayed? What's happening? <sighs> Did he poison- He probably poisoned him too because he drinks a lot. What the- That's more like it. Finally, the stuff started kicking in. Big relief. Shoot This is bad! The whole party's- <gasps> Everyone's poisoned! Oh, no. <coughs> oh, fuck! It's taking a bit longer than I'd have liked. Okay, Sadamoto, tell me. What the hell did you do? Well... <laughs> I imagine this will go down as one of the deadliest dinners in history. Would you like to see? <laughs> Aren't I thoughtful? Damn, what the fuck?
Excellent! I've just killed the final four members! A resounding success! You piece of shit! You poisoned their drinks? Yes, I used the slow-acting stuff. A quicker poison wouldn't do for taking out a large group at once. Anyone who gets a drink later on would find out it's poisoned and refuse to touch it. Even so, I was starting to worry I'd miscalculated, since the effects took so long to show. Honestly, she could have shot him just right Terribly then and there. <laughs> sorry, Kenmochi. I'll hold a grand funeral for you, so try to rest in peace, okay? You even targeted innocent people! I wouldn't say I targeted them. There was a designated table for everyone in Crimson Lotus. I can't help it if some non-members stopped by for a drink. So at that point, I would say it's on them. Besides, wouldn't it make more sense for a vengeful, hate-fueled killer to pile on a few extra casualties? The public is much more liable to eat up a dramatic story after all. You're out of your goddamn mind! And now, Mikiko, the curtain rises on you. The time has come to kill Kaito. Do it, and I'll spare you and the boy. Why in the hell would I listen to you? Ah, right. Perhaps this scenario merits a bit of explanation. As for tonight, I'm technically not supposed to be here. Yeah, he is a cover story well, because he said he canceled, to make right? A surprise appearance, but only a few people know. Anyway, I left your hair and fingerprints in the kitchen, where the poison was prepared. And on the rooftop, your ex-lover's bullet-riddled corpse will be found. That'd be you, Kaito-san. On top of that, I've arranged it so a news leak will soon reveal Crimson Lotus as the masterminds behind the Natsume arson. As the story goes, you took the lives of each one out of vengeance. This party was held to clean up any stragglers. And when your old boyfriend caught wind of the whole affair, you gunned him down too. That is what the cops and the media will learn. It was you all along, my dear. <sighs> but I won't just leave you to dry. Kill Kaito and I'll throw in a hundred million yen. You could use that to flee overseas with June and live a comfortable life. Though, I imagine that wouldn't appeal to you. How could you murder an innocent man? So, once Kaito's dead on the ground, I suggest you kill yourself as well. The hell? If you go through with it, I'll even add another hundred million for June. What? This guy just keeps <laughs> offering shit! At least I'm offering child support. More than a lot of fathers do. <laughs> Now hurry up and shoot him! You were itching to kill someone, weren't you? Take too long and June will be the one to die. <gasps> ah, shit. He really was the devil after all. I was naive. I'm so sorry. I dragged you into this mess. <laughs> well, guess I better prep for the world. <laughs> Kaito! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god! Please don't shoot this man. This man gets shot up a lot in this story. Mikiko. It's okay. I'm here. Huh? Well, this changes things. Your little storyline just took a twist. What are you playing at? How about I rewrite this scenario? A dirtbag husband commits mass murder. Then gets caught and tries to pin it on his wife. So a Yakuza steps in and puts him down. <gasps> I go to jail and it's happily ever after. Just oh, stay Kaito. Out of this. 
You can't get blood on your hands. June needs you in his life. <laughs> can't imagine I'll miss at this range. <laughs> you say that, but how else am I gonna get strong? Strong enough to protect the people I care about. You want to get strong, June? Then focus on what's in here. Huh? What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart, and it'll all make sense one day. Get him, kid! Yo, why are you so mean? You son of a How bitch! How knives can one guy have? Oh, goodness. And just when I thought I had you. June, Mikiko, you two go. I'd love to play some more, but time is running short. I'll have you bleeding out by the time the cops arrive. Oh, I'm gonna hate this fight, I already know it. This guy's a fucking knife. Ah, oh, shit! I can do something real quick. There's some socket here, right?
did block him though. killed my family my only sister how does it feel right now you calculate this too goddamn coward Nikki, go don't do it oh, i should have ended this a whole lot sooner June that like, gets through to her, I think. You do that, you'll regret it. You'll be losing something precious. <laughs> when we split, I was the same as you. I only wanted revenge. It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then I went down the path of vengeance for the boss of the Matsukane family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You're gonna get yourself locked up? Oh no, yeah, I'm right. It has to be him that has to get through to her. You're leaving me again? What was it you said? Everything was a lie! Was I a lie too? Girl, don't turn your back to him, though. Whoa, wait, can Mochi still alive? Oh, it's watching. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. God damn you. Ah, kill him. Then what you do it? <laughs> it's all your fault! Uh, why, huh? Why'd you do it, Jochan? Why? Shit! Uh, why? Okay, 
we need to leave? Kaiju is still poisoned, hello? <laughs> My man is in the hospital again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Every single time. Ugh, damn it. I lost again. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Higashi-san. Shut it. I'm letting you win, you know. Let's run it back. Okay, but I'm still kicking your butt. Hey! Kaito Anaki! <sighs> Don't push yourself too hard yet. You came in here pretty banged up. You've been out for three days. Damn! That long, huh? Where's Mikiko? Is she okay? Yeah. Mom was looking after you the entire time. She nearly passed out on her feet. When she said she was feeling lightheaded, Shirakaba-san took her to get some rest. You didn't want to go with your mom? Nah. I'm cool right here. Aww. And Higashi-san's been keeping me company, too. Ah, oh, well, I had time to kill. So. Yeah, right, you were so worried about Kaito. <laughs> Sadamoto? Uh, he, uh, didn't make it. Yeah, bitch got his neck broke. He did. <laughs> don't feel sorry for him. I really don't. Oh, those are from Yagami. He's back from his business trip. He came by earlier, but saw you were out like a rock. That put him at ease, so he left this and went home. <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> we just gave him fruit. <laughs> Easy now, Anaki. <laughs> it's no problem. No problem, huh? You're practically split at the seams. I know, right? Dude, you got poison. I think I'll hold together just fine. Uh-huh. Just try to stay out of trouble, okay? That's impossible for Kaito. Jim, you free to talk? Oh, uh, sure. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. You know, my old man wasn't the greatest either. In fact, he was a nasty drunk. Yeah? Yep, he barely worked, used up our money on booze, and every swig he took meant a swing at his family. I couldn't live in a home like that. So, I ran away. Then, I got kicked out of school, and after doing some more dumb shit, I ended up in juvie. After that, it was clear what kind of life I had coming. Huh, no kidding. Growing up, I wish the old bastard would just drop dead. Deep down, I took out all my problems on him. He was why my life turned out fucked up. But in reality, those fuck-ups were mine alone. Huh. Sure, my pops was a no-good loser who destroyed himself with alcohol. But when I got word he died, for some reason, all I could think of were the few good times we had. Huh? <laughs> Stupid, right? Why? After hating his guts my whole life. <laughs> Sorry. I know this ain't making it easier. <sighs> Actually... There was this one time my dad took me out for a drive. Thinking back, maybe he just felt like cruising around in his brand new car. But he asked me if there was anywhere I wanted to go. And then he took me far away, just so I could see the ocean. <laughs> Joe, okay. take it slow, okay? 
You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine now. For real. You sure? <laughs> yeah, and he's trying to, uh, to tough this out. You know what, Kaito? I've been thinking. I never really wanted to be a Yakuza. It was something different all along. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Not a detective. I want to be the kind of guy you can depend on. Someone who's strong. A bodyguard. Someone like you, man. So don't sweet. worry. As much as it hurts, I'll be okay. Fuck him! I wanna hug him! <laughs> Jun. I know it's tough. I can take it. And besides, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> My dear, you're only 14. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Go see your mom at Shirakaba-san's place? Yeah, someone's gotta go pick her up. Oh, speaking of, Shirakaba-san asked me to give you a letter when you woke up. Okay. A letter? For what? You know. Please don't let it be weird. Kaito-san, as I've mentioned before, <laughs> oh my God, here we I go intend again. to propose to Miko-san. <laughs> I won't do it right away. She and her son need time to process. Sir, this ain't the time. But I will say this. If you still have any feelings for Miko-san, I suggest you pay me a visit. What? Yasutaka Shirakaba. <laughs> what, what a guy. What the so, what's it say? He's a lunatic, sir. Mm. He's challenging for challenge. Mikiko's love. So that means what exactly? Actually, June, I'll come see Mikiko with you. You sure? I can get there myself just fine. Trust me, I know. <laughs> That's not the huh. problem, kid. Okay, then. My man was just poisoned. Why are we fighting this guy? Hey, you coming or not? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Jun? And Masahoro-san? Hey, yeah. Uh... I told him I could get here myself, but nope. He insisted on tagging along. Did you? Well... Thanks for seeing him off. Uh, don't mention it. I, uh... So awkward. To see you too. Oh, really? So... We're finally getting to sit and talk. We sure are. Were you... okay? Well, I mean, maybe that's a weird thing to ask someone who had amnesia. <laughs> maybe a little. I'm very happy for you, June. You got to go on an adventure with your hero. Oh, uh, guess so. You've gotten so strong since I last saw you. Remember how you arm locked that one jerk into submission? <laughs> yeah. I'm lucky to have learned that from my mom. So, Mikiko, what's your next move? What do you mean? Well, I was wondering about your living situation. I figure it's tough staying in that house after everything. Yeah, you got that right. What am I gonna do? I haven't given it much thought yet, but... But... Yeah, so... Shirakaba-san mentioned he'd take June and me on vacation. Just the three of us. Vacation? Uh, where to? He said, anywhere in the world. 
anywhere at all for as long as you like. <laughs> I'm sure he was just kidding. Girl, he ain't. <laughs> oh. Okay then. I, I don't think he was joking. That dude's a doctor. He looks pretty loaded. <laughs> Unlike Mr. X Yakuza here. Watch it, kid. Uh, Mikiko-san, why don't we head inside and watch a movie? <laughs> mm. I read your letter. <laughs> so then, what are you here to do? What am I? Well... Mm. Mikiko-san, wait right there, please. Okay. What is he doing? I've been saving something for you. <laughs> huh? Mikiko-san, will you... Hold it! What is it? Uh, well... <laughs> Shinokawa's not gonna be the worst guy, but he's got the money on like me, but still. What do I do about Mikiko? <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on a second. Can, can I be completely honest? I feel like she should say no to both of them, but I was, I was give I would kind of be with her. Get out of here, bro. I was here first. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to take Mikiko home. Take her home? Where? To your dirty little hovel of an apartment? Yeah, if that's- She should decide, home. not you guys, stupid! My apartment's tidy as hell, as a matter of fact. I clean up every now and then. <laughs> Kaito-san, I understand what you're feeling. But this is the one thing I can't give up on, no matter what you say. I hear you. Let's talk this out. Oh, we won't be doing any talking. Huh? Then what are we doing? Fighting. Right? Because this man knows how to fight too. We're doing this like the men of old. With our fists! <laughs> what? Oh, come on. You trying to have a duel in this day and age? What about how Mikiko feels? This fight is for my feelings, Kaito-san. I told you from the beginning I was giving this my all, didn't I? What the fuck? Man. <laughs> Mikiko-san will never share her heart with me. I've already accepted that. However, if I can best you, the one she sees as her hero, then perhaps there's a chance she'll acknowledge me. So please, Give me this, Kaito-san! When you put it that way, fine. But don't blame me if you get hurt. You needn't worry about that. Alright, it's your funeral, sir. Wait, am I actually fighting this man right now? <laughs> This is literally so stupid. Oh, he- Oh, shit! I knew it! He's shredded! <laughs> when the hell do you get so beefy? <laughs> After those thugs came, I vowed to do whatever it takes to get stronger. To build myself into a new person. One who would never let harm come to Mikiko-san. So these past two years, I've made the gym my second home. And on top of that, I've practiced every form of martial art available to me. What I've learned is this. With the insurmountable will to protect the ones you love, even a frail physician can rise up and become stronger than any threat that comes knocking. <laughs> I will give him that though, that is pretty admirable, okay? <laughs> He's just so creepy though because he didn't tell her the truth. That's why I don't like him. You made your point. Guess we're throwing down. Ooh. 
Let's do this. Shirakawa. Come! Kaito-san! Wait, I thought- <laughs> I thought this DLC's done! Are we fighting- <laughs> Are we seriously fighting this fucking guy right now? Here Dude, what the fuck?
You've had enough. We squared up now? Yeah. Now it's out of my system. Thank you. <sighs> Why do men have to be so primitive? <laughs> so random. So then, where do we go from here? Uh. Didn't you say you were taking me back home? Uh. Um. Yes, I did. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Where to start? So, uh, when I said my place was clean and all, sorry, that was a big lie. <laughs> Even on a good day, it's about as clean as a farmhouse, and the bathroom's moldy. Ew! Yeah? And I'm flat broke. Seriously? Being a detective doesn't always pay the bills. Pretty often, I'll be months behind rent. Sometimes I can't even afford dinner. Well, you're gonna have to fix that, aren't you? I'll try. Will you still join me? Aww. Gladly. Sorry to share Kaba down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of sweet. Kaito gets a happy ending because my man he always gets shot up or poisoned or something, or stabbed. He ends up in the hospital a lot. So it's nice that he has this, uh, you know, happy ending. And also, I still consider Jun like his real son. Doesn't matter if my man isn't like biologically his kid. He's still his real son in my opinion. Anyway, uh, that's the ending for uh, the Kaito DLC. This was so much fun. I had a lot of fun uh, playing this. I, I liked it a lot. And uh, I'm really happy that, you know, uh, Kaito gets kind of like the limelight. Because uh, even though even though he's like a big character in, in the Judgment series, I he's my favorite. <laughs> he's always been my favorite. And like, I feel like he always gets like the shit into the stick sometimes because he's kind of like the brute. So it's nice that they kind of like get to go know his backstory and like how he... He does have a soft side because he, he does have a soft side. He's a really sweet guy uh, deep down, so I really like that. Okay, guys, it's going to be the end of my playthrough for the Kaito DLC. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's going to be a while before we get another RGG game, but obviously the next one that's in the lineup is Yakuza 8. Whenever that comes out, don't worry, I'm going to be playing that. You don't even have to ask me that question. But I, I, I enjoyed this thoroughly. I love that Kaito finally got the line life because he's my favorite. And it was nice to hear the English cast again because like they, they do such a great job. I just wish Yagami was in this DLC some way. Like at least seeing him in the hospital, just like a little cameo. That would have been perfect. But that's all right. Anyway, please let me know in the comments what you think about this DLC. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!